Yo, what is up, TGN? This is Thunderboss81, and we are about to have some fun because I, I've got the noobs on the run, and I want to take this time to apologize for not posting anything to TGN lately. I've been pretty sick. I mean, if if you wanted me to make a video, so I don't know if this is the entire video. I'm sure next time I'm sick, I will make one of those. But now I'm back, and I'm better than ever, and I'm bringing you a special episode of the Taking On YouTube series where we're going to talk about more than one subject. So that's, I'd say, at least quadruple the haters, so let's get right into this, guys. So, right now we're going to talk about campers. Now, I personally have a ton against campers because they just, they ruin my gameplays. Every time I get into a lobby, I'll have a good kill streak going, I'll be feeling good, everything, the hit detection's crisp, and I get killed by someone in a corner. Just an obscure corner. It's like, you, you know, you think when you get killed by them, what? Who would go past that corner? They're like, man, I'm the one guy that he's going to kill. He's going to go, what, 1 in 30, and I'm going to be that one guy who he's going to kill. So, I've got nothing against playing how you want to play. It's I've been an advocate for it for so long, and since the first episode in my series, but campers, it's just, you're going to pay 60 bucks, and that's not even putting into effect the map packs, the elite service. So, I mean, for, like, for Black Ops, you could have ended up spending $120. But you're going to pay $60 to sit in a corner the entire game. Like, you could do that at home for free. I mean, just, if you're going to invest $60 to sit in a corner, buy yourself a nice recliner, a nice rolly chair, and just sit in a corner in real life, you know? I mean, that's one of the things that really bugs me about Call of Duty and just generally FPS games in general is because there's always that one guy who cares about his KDR way too much. And I personally don't care at all about my KDR. It's... I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's less than one, because I'll put on, like, uh, I don't even know, I'll put on a Kimbo, a Kimbo Deagles, and I'll just run around in a free-for-all trying to get a gameplay, because I like bringing you gameplays with, like, not the Type 95 with a Kimbo, uh, what are they called, FMG9s, see, I don't even know the names of those guns, because I try for Scorpions and stuff. And uh, so that's definitely a thing I hate in Call of Duty as campers. I've never camped in my life. I definitely don't advocate it. But at the same time, you know, I've got nothing personal against anyone who camps. I just feel like there's better t ways to use your time than just sitting in a corner virtually. All right, so next we're going to talk about those people on YouTube who think way too highly of themselves. You know those commentators who just like, you post a comment and you just like, uh, you say something like some constructive criticism or hey, I think you're doing this wrong, and they're just like, man, I make videos on YouTube, I play against 12 year olds, and uh, I, I post videos of me talking about it on YouTube, I know way more than you, man, I've got like 400 sub for sub subscribers, and you're just like, bro, chill out with that, like, I'm your viewer. It's like, the customer's always right, the viewer's always right, to a certain extent now. I know that some viewers are absolute idiots, but we're not even going to go into that because I probably just offended everybody viewing this. I take every single comment on every single video I make into account, whether it's I hate your face, which I do believe I talked about in last episode, or something intelligent like, hey, you know, I really like what you did here, but I think that you have room for improvement here. You know, those comments, I'll reply to them and be like, hey, I think you've got a valid point. And I've actually had several people disagree with me on videos on my personal channel. And if they're worded politely, like this one guy did, I was like, hey man, uh, obviously we have different opinions, but uh, you obviously express it very intelligently and you actually put thought into your comments. So I'm not going to hate on you, you know, we'll just agree to disagree and we'll be generally civilized human beings, you know? And it's really like, if you make videos on YouTube and that's a hobby, just... Don't act too highly. You're not a celebrity. You, you're on the internet. I mean, what's the difference between you and someone who has a channel with one subscriber? You're both doing the same thing. I mean, more people may watch your videos, but at the same time, really, you make videos on the internet. So, I've never been one of those people to be like, well, I have 2,000 subscribers. What do you have? You know? So, that's just been always something that's bothered me, and I thought I'd put this out there. And another thing that I really hate in uh, online gaming in general, like in the chat, is people who go rage mode. I hate commentators who it's like they're abusing their listeners. They're just like, man, this game, man, I hate this game, man. And it's like a cuss word every second. And it's just like, 
wow, you know, how do people even stand watching your videos? Like, they're not even funny. I mean, you may think that getting drunk and playing video games and cussing a ton is funny, but, like, honestly, it's not. And the people in the lobbies who just get so mad, they're just like, man, I'm gonna hack you with my elite hacks or skills. Uh, I'm opening up my command prompt, and I'm gonna type this code in, and your account's gonna be mine. They're just... They're stupid, you know, like, they're just like, man, I'm an anonymous, and I'm gonna get your account. It's just like, bro, it's a video game, just relax. Uh, point of the game's to have fun. Obviously, if you're not having fun with the video game, you could get into another lobby, or potentially just, you know, find a new game. Something that makes you happy, or maybe even video games and competitive things in general aren't for you if you're gonna take them that seriously. So, guys, that's all I have to talk about. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of effort into it, and I've actually had a lot of Sony Vegas issues lately uh, with my uh, product key, but got that all sorted out. Uh, Morning After Kill helped me out with that, but so I want to thank him, and I also want to thank George personally at the end of this video because I emailed him and about a subject, and he really helps out, and he really likes the community at TGN, and he really takes the time to respond to everyone, and he's an active part of the community. So. Thanks to those two guys. Uh, if you could like and favorite this video and comment and tell me what to do for my next video, that would be much appreciated. You know, I take every single comment into consideration when I'm making the next episode. My name is Thunderboss81, and I am old.